All right, we got a great person in the house. Where you mission now to actually change how Nigerians perceive jazz music. Join me, welcome the saxophonist in the house and sensational jazz um, artist, Olu Jones. Oh, Jars. How I could do let's say you're quiet like this. I'm a quiet one. We know you're not quiet. That's not true. Uh uh. Why are you making me shy this morning? Imagine. <laughs> okay, so the Jazz, very uh, welcome to the studio this morning. Thank you. How you enjoy the traffic getting here? Ah oh, man, the traffic is is really, really Yeah, last giddy boy, you should be used yes, to that. But, but the one we happened this morning, the one that is, that that really happened this morning was just um something terrible. Because people like say your eyes today tinted, you never <laughs> you never <laughs> check up really. No <laughs> but you know what? Let's get to meet you. A lot of Nigerians don't know who Olu Jazz be. Tell us about you. Okay, my my real name is Olu Alabi, right? So um and people call me Olu Jazz, the sax talkative. Um that's that's by the way I'm a I'm a musician and I'm also a businessman. I'm a, I have my uh, my bachelor's in in um, Lasso and have my master's in music in, uh, in California. I also do other things. I'm a multi instrumentalist. I'm a jazz musician. I'm a very passionate lover of God. Fantastic, fantastic. Yeah. But what do you read? Which courses you read for the, the computer science? I do. Computer science and this is jazz. Wow, yeah. relation. It's computer science seven and jazz. Okay. You know now. Okay, so how long you don't they do this? When how you take discover your talent? Waiting give you this um, juju. What you don't they do now? So, <laughs> so the thing is that I started. Um, I started as, uh, from my childhood. I started playing instrument from church, like when I was like about six, seven years old, and I started playing drums, the keyboards. I started playing kum kum, you know, this kind of little, little instrument from the choir. So that's how I became a trumpeter. After playing trumpet for, for since nineties, played it till 20, 2002. So I picked up this wonderful instrument since that time because I know that I am a born saxophonist. So since then, I've been everywhere with my saxophone. And God has been so good so far. Okay, let's talk about the revolution of jazz music in Nigeria. And also, I remember when I was reading about music, jazz music now one of the things we be trained then for inside yeah. Wobodo, Nigeria. But now we are more concerned about the upbeat kind of music, Gungu, Oya Shaku, Shaku, Afro Pop. So tell us more about the revolution of jazz music and the perception of jazz music in Nigeria. Yeah, um, I like that kind of question you asked me just now. It's um, you know, it depends on how you use it. Everybody has their weapon, right? You have your weapon, and um, the way we use it is different. Some people, if you have gun, some people use it for security, some people use it for other things, right? So, like, the way I do my jazz, I'm a very, very versatile um, jazz musician. The Shaku Shaku thing you are saying, I have some other very nice beats in, on my album that I'm unveiling on Sunday that you see that um, there's no kind of music that jazz cannot, that cannot be inculcated into jazz music, you understand? So jazz is kind of like the mother of all kind of music. Even the Afro pop you are talking about, you still have jazz in it because they play keyboards, they play piano inside of it, and the progressions of those music are, or majority of them are 251, you understand, which is jazz. So me, myself, I can actually play anything on jazz format. So talking about your album launch you get on Sunday and um, the My challenges, concert, right? your, your concert as well, tell us how, how sweet you done the in preparation for oh. this Sunday. <laughs> I think so far, by God's grace, this is the best thing I've done in my life. The preparation is intense. Even me myself, I'm, I'm like I'm overwhelmed. I don't even know. I, I, when I started everything, I started planning for this concert nine years ago, because of sponsorship and um, there's a particular level that I'm trying. The level of my expertise in my instrument that I'm trying to attain before I can just say I want to do a, a concert. Right? What I what I call because by God's grace I've traveled far and wide and I see how concerts are done. Understand, and in as much as I'm trying to be very commercial, I'll still let people know that okay, this is how saxophone should be played. I'm not saying I'm the best, right? But I know that I'm, I, by God's grace, I'm one of the best, right? But it has to, you have to set the bar. The, the previous ones that people have been doing, like what you have been seeing around, you need to be able to surpass whatever it is. You need to make the right statement. You need to let people know that this is from my experience that I've gained all around the world. This is how it should be done, right? So that's why I'm actually waiting. That's, that's why I've waited for nine years to make sure that I get to a particular level. I mean, in terms of my expertise, exposure, you know, meeting people, the right people to know, you know. So before I 
started doing this concert. And this is our first one. And I pray and I hope that it's going to be a real hit. You know? And I like one particular statement where you come outside talk. Say, you say you're not the best, but you're yeah. one of the best. Yes, my now, we have a lot of amazing and talented jazz and saxophonists for inside Wibodo, um, Nigeria. Mm -hmm. How have you been able to set yourself aside? What can be your unique selling point? Yeah, my unique selling point is that I learned from all of them. That is it. I, I'm not too big to learn from anyone, trust me. Even my students that I teach, I learn from them. When I started playing instrument, um, this saxophone, I, I used to score every, everything that my, Mr. Mike Arimo played because that's my first Nigerian mentor. I, I, I scored everything that Yemi Sax plays. I, I score whatever Femi Kuti plays, Lagwaja, whatever they play, Orlando Julius, whatever they play. Fela Kuti, I, the, you know, the, the legendary fella, I scored everything he plays, even though if you can't get everything. But eventually I saw that, okay, I think I should be able to do better. You know what I'm trying to say? I'm not saying I'm better than them, right? But I'm saying that I, I attain and I, I pray and I hope to become better, you know, so, so that I can be on the Grammy kind of platform. Mm, nice. Fantastic. Your event is this weekend? Your event is this weekend? Yes. Where? Muson Center on the 20th of August, it's, um, starting by 5 p.m. I hope to see you there too. I'll definitely. What are, the, what, what are we yeah, expecting yeah. from there? Are we expecting comedians? Are we My expecting God. artists? Or now only you who are going to perform? Only me, okay. Most of the time. <laughs> only me. You know, I, I'm a person that people, people love me so much by God's grace. And, I, um, you know, and I have um, the likes of Wally Oni. Wally Oni is a legendary music yes. producer. Mm -hmm. We have him on the piano. He's coming to do his thing there. Wow. We have um, the American, um, Nigerian born American guitarist, who's um, Agbola Shadare, he's coming to. We have him on the show. We have um, Ronti, who is a classical and wow. jazz singer. I love ah. Ronti. You love her, right? Oh. She's coming. I'm performing with her too. She, she has an Jerry amazing Jerry. voice. Wow. We have Isaac Gerald. You know Isaac uh -huh. Gerald? He's going to yeah. be on my show. And um, we have um, IBK. Okay. IBK sings. He's a, he's a very fantastic singer. We have on us, Ario. So let's have a sample of what you, you have. You have a lot, please. Like you have to be there on I mean, Sunday, people. I, I'm please. just in, I need to hear so that we people also hear. Like, no, just give us a taste of the ice block. Ice block, last one. I'll be able to see it. I'll be able to see it. I'll be able to see it. Just to make us do throat for Sunday. You know what? I'm not going to play anything from Sunday. Okay. No, no, no. Okay, that's fine. Let me just play something. from the past. Yes. Something. No, something for ladies, right? Oh. Let me just do something for the ladies. Okay, okay, for the ladies. So I'm sure that ladies in the house will like. Of this. course, Jibika is standing by for the news, so she go like her too. <laughs> Sunday for right. event, 5 p.m. I will actually start, but this is a personal question. When I'm out the piano after playing this instrument. No. Just, eh? like, just like the way you no. talk. No, even though it's the blue air, the blue air, so you know they... Yeah, doesn't, there's no pain. Fantastic, wow. thank you so Maybe much. Maybe the pain that I've been feeling is because when, when you started learning, you, okay. you, you feel some pains maybe when you're starting newly, but... Right I now. love this, I, I love this. Him. All road leads to Muson Center on, on Sunday. Sunday by 5 p.m. Don't miss this concert <laughs> with Olu Jazz and Kamal Sadeh. Thank you so much for thank coming to Muson Center. Thank you so much, I know waking wow. up very early was really very stressful, but thank you so much for being here. God bless you. To enjoy more of this, our will get videos when you just watch. Press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.